faster. It's a bit messy in there. Like we take all of our cultures, throw them out in agar, yeah. and then they get dropped into grains. Then those grains make more grains. Something it's all loose, which is perfecta mundo. Aussie mushrooms, grain to grain transfer video. Russell from Aussie Mushroom Supplies here again. Today we're gonna to do grain to grain transfers just with a mushroom spawn. We've just got a little sample pack here and we're gonna inoculate some rye grain jars and a mushroom kit. So rule number one, when you're starting any work, give the bench a bit of a spray down, any tools. And obviously this has been cooling here overnight. So we'll give this a, a spray just in case in my hands. So anything that I'm going to put in this area, it's going to get a quick spray with isoprol. As these jars were in the pressure cooker, I just took them straight out. They should be fine. So don't forget, any tools that you're going to use needs a bit of a spray. So here we've got a sample spawn pack. We're going to inoculate this with one of our spawn packs, just a sample one. There should be enough in here to do a kit and a couple of grain jars with some left over. Make sure you obviously isoprol the bag. It's been in the post, so you want to make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure that your open bag is always facing the airflow and you don't put your hands or anything like that in front of the bag because anything on your hands may land in it. Whenever opening jars, always work at about 10 o'clock and four o'clock with your fingers and always open it towards the filter and try not to have your hands go in front of it at all. So we're gonna seal the large bag. As always, anything you bring in tool-wise, make sure you give it a spray with ice pearl before you use it. Always make sure you don't get in the way of the open bag, best you can. Get in there. Hold it down nice and firm, and also keep holding once the light turns out. Give it a bit of a test. And it's sealed, there's no leaking. And now we've gotta mix the bag up to make sure it's all evenly mixed through the bag. Don't forget to label the bag. Same with the jars. You want to just sort of roll the material over. Just keep rolling around so you can see it's sort of all through the jar. Cool. Make sure you check out our incubation video, which explains the best temperatures and how to incubate all jars and bags. We're doing a grain to grain transfer with one of our commercial spawn bags. Like everything, give it a nice wash down with isoprol. When it's in the posts, it's so they're covered in things, so you gotta make sure it's all nice and clean. You always want to make sure you isoprol your tools before you use them. Now we're just going to do a little cut just to stop the bag just to create a small hole to tip the spawn out of. Obviously always working from the back. Just doing a small hole because then we can reseal it afterwards to use it for later on. Making sure you don't get in front of your jars. We're just doing a little bit in each one. I'll tighten the lid up on these and I'll push them out the way. We're going to do our three sort off bags. We're going to open all three, obviously working from behind the bags. Put a little bit of spawn in each bag. And just quickly, I'm going to reseal this bag straight away, just so we can put it back in the fridge and save it till later. Being a spawn bag, I'll do a couple of seals just to make sure it's sealed properly. Good squeeze, it's sealed. So we're making sure we've got plenty of air in the bag. Making sure you hold the bag sealer for at least for the five to 10 seconds after the light goes out, just to make sure it's sealed properly. Give it a squeeze. Nice firm pressure. It's always best to squeeze test them just to make sure. All right, so now we've sealed them all. We're gonna give them a good mix up. You wanna get the spawn nice and evenly through the bag so it grows evenly and it'll grow quicker. The jars are a little bit harder to mix up. You just want to get the spawn evenly through the jar just so it grows evenly. And it's just that easy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Catch you next time. Tips for grain to grain transfers.
Number one, you should work in front of a flow hood when making spawn and sterilized kits. You can use a still air box, but you will have a lot more issues. Number two, be sure to give your work area a thorough cleaning before working. Number three, all tools. Make sure you spray them with isoprol just before you use them. Number four, always stay out of the sterile airflow best you can just to make sure nothing blows off you and into your open work. Number five, when using sterilized material, you only need about one to four percent spawn rate. As it's sterilized, the mushrooms don't have to grow quickly and outrun any competitor molds, so they have the time to grow slow, so you don't need as much spawn. Number six, wear a face mask, gloves, and wear fresh clothes that have just been cleaned and dried before you do your work. This way there's not lots of spores and things on your clothes and it lowers your chance of any problems. Number seven, you can use spawn to make more spawn, just don't do more than one transfer. Mycelium can only grow so far until it starts to lose its vigor and become weaker. When buying spawn, make sure you're using a reputable supplier. Some small backyard growers could be selling you cultures years old and have been transferred way beyond what they should be, meaning you'll have a lot more problems. Number eight, using grain to grain transfers into sterile substrate means you don't need to use a lot of spawn. For example, one of our 1.7 kilo ready to use spawn bags can inoculate up to 100 fruiting kits, meaning you can fruit around 100 kilos of say white oyster mushrooms with one spawn bag using these methods. Number nine, make sure you incubate your bags for under 20 degrees until they're ready to fruit. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If there's anything else you want to learn, drop us a comment down below. Don't forget to smash that bell, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you later. And don't forget to smash that bell over there. Where is it over there? Is it there? There? Where's that bell?